value chains and climate resilient agriculture, mining and tourism. Since our last COMESA summit, Somalia has taken a transformative approach under the leadership of President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, marked by significant reforms in governance, security, and economic stability. Transition to democracy and the finalization of the constitutional review process has been a long, elusive goal for the Somali people. Uh, it's indeed very important to note that despite the massive progress in recent years across our member states, the absence of peace and prevalence of conflicts in many regions of the continent has and continues to hinder our efforts to trade freely and collectively prosper as a continent. Undoubtedly, the best way to keep peace and enhance prosperity is to invest in good governance and sustainable political institutions. It is on this note that the Somalia strives to achieve goals agreed upon by COMESA, as well as the African Union, that of upholding democratic principles, constitutionality, and human rights. Yesterday, the National Consultative Council of Somalia, the NCC, has once again endorsed the agreements forged earlier, setting the nation into a series of elections, starting with district elections, federal member state elections, and finally, national elections, all based on the principle of one person, one vote. This is going to be a momentous occasion for the Somali people, for it has been almost close to 60 years since we have had democratic elections on the principles of one person, one vote. The federal parliament on its part is scheduled to finalize the constitutional review process and also endorse the legal regulations that would govern one person, one vote elections. This, we hope, would lay the foundations for a stable and democratic Somalia that would be contributing its share of prosperous, uh, progress and prosperity to this esteemed COMESA uh, common market that we are part of. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in my conversations with some of the heads of states here, I was delighted to note that there are significant Somali business communities in their countries, and they take pride in the role that Somali communities play in contributing to their economy. And of course, with the resurgence of the Somali state as a viable institution, the Somali people and the Somali state look forward to playing an important role in contributing to, to this $14 billion dollar, dollar a trading uh, entity of ours, COMESA, and enhancing it to even much higher levels. As President William Ruto noted, um, it is important that this accounts for only about 10% of our potential. I think we have a lot of room to improve our intra-COMESA trade. And Somalia, as a country that is strategically located in the Red Sea area and the Indian Ocean, can certainly contribute to a better trading among our member states, but also connecting many of our land-linked countries to the broader global supply chains. Ladies and gentlemen, the attainment of peace and security is, in addition to good governance, a necessary prerequisite for economic growth, integration, and prosperity. We are glad to know that in the security front, the Somali National Army and the different levels of the, of the security forces have achieved significant gains in their fight against Al-Shabaab. And of course, with the help of our partners, we have regained and liberated a number of districts and regions and millions of Somalis that used to live under Al-Shabaab are now enjoying the benefits of living in a freer and a more uh, and under the government uh, control. Ladies and gentlemen, the AMISOM, the ATMIS mission that at its height in the previous format of AMISOM and ATMIS used to be over 20,000 personnel contributed by our African brothers and sisters is now phasing out. As you are all aware of what used to be at its peak about 20,000 is getting to less than half of that. And it's going to be transitioning into a, a mission that is going to be more focused 
and streamline to the needs of our armed forces. And gradually, the Somali security forces will be taken over the responsibility of peace. Regard despite these positive uh, developments, we remain grateful to the countries from Burundi to elsewhere across the continent who have contributed to keeping peace in Somalia in the past. But we are glad to report that soon we will be able to take charge of our security on our own as we are heavily investing in the training, cap capacity building, and reorganization of the, our, arm, our armed forces. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on the economic front, Somalia has concluded its debt relief uh, not that long ago, and now we are putting in place a national transformation plan that would help us to realize our potential and target our productive sector, as that is the theme of this gathering today, from fisheries, as we are blessed with the longest uh, coast in the continental Africa, and we have a huge potential in marine resources, agriculture, and livestock. But we remain cognizant of the fact that investment in infrastructure is important for all the member states so that we can trade together in a much more meaningful way and impactful manner. Interestingly, Somalia trades with faraway places from Asia to South America to import sugar, cooking oil, and all kind of basic commodities that could be produced in the African continent. So we realize a better integrated infrastructure in the form of ports, aviation, digital, can help us in do business in a more seamless manner. Uh, furthermore, I would like to highlight that Somalia has indeed departed with its history of humanitarian crisis and conflict, and the testimony of that can be provided in the following observations. Somalia is one of the three African states that is member of the UN Security Council. Somalia has not only successfully defeated Al-Shabaab, but also has become an active member of the East African economic community. And it will continue to play a useful role in the Comesa Club also. One of the last testimonies and developments in this month in Somalia is the arrival of the Turkish a naval ship with the state-of-art capabilities in oil and gas exploration, a prospect that is vast in the Somali seas as well as the land. So while the world used to you know, send troops and, and, and maybe food items to Somalia in the past, now we're getting into a stage of partnerships in terms of economic growth and strategic engagements in oil sector, in fisheries, and in other productive activities that COMESA members are also highly interested in. Ladies and gentlemen, despite these good developments across the economic sphere, the political and social developments, there are challenges. And one of those challenges sometimes arise in the form of some of our neighboring countries that at times infringe on the rights of Somali sovereignty in the form of Ethiopia's MOU with the region of Somalia not that long ago. Somalia remains committed to respecting the principles of COMESA and the African Union, that of sovereignty and territorial integrity that ought to be upheld at all locations. In conclusion, we as the African continent at large and the COMESA member states in particular must also take stock of the global dynamics, conflicts, and chains that can have serious impact on our economies while, while, while we also need to keep an eye on opportunities that come our way. Developments in the Middle East, the Red Sea area, conflicts in Ukraine and other places have had and shown a profound impact on our development aspirations. They have disrupted our supply chains, have an impact on our food security, and the debt crisis. It is therefore crucial that we further strengthen our trading lines, integrate our economies, accelerate the infrastructure developments and projects that would increase the prospect 
of doing business and in the arena of land, transport, aviation, digital and ports, as I mentioned earlier. Electricity is another important infrastructural element that needs further integration. Africa consumes less than 1% of industrial energy as compared to maybe Germany and, and, and France consume more energy in industrial production than the whole of Africa. Those kind of numbers should tell us that we need to improve in that arena. Ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude that Somalia remains committed to being an active and a proactive member of the Comesa family. We hope to present opportunities for trading with different members and also capitalize on the opportunities that this forum provides. Once again, I would like to thank the organizers, uh, the people of Burundi, and the president of Burundi, and the management of Kamesa for this important gathering. Thank you very much. Thank you.